yeah, just a bit of an update and some uh, philosophical musings, uh, as I am uh, want to do sometimes. Uh, I have a couple things. Um, one, I have, uh, I think for the most part, uh, switched over all my documentation. So my birth certificate, my driver's license, um, healthcare, banks. I even remembered um, my uh, diplomas too, as in uh, under um, my graduate uh, my graduate degree. So my master's and my um, BA. So that's all done. Feels really good. Took a while. Um, good solid two months of work. Uh, I'm still waiting for my American passport, but yeah. That was a bit of work and costly because <laughs> I was not just doing the U.S., uh, sorry, Canada, but also the U.S., so two countries uh, at once. But um, yeah, that was very, very exciting. I liked seeing uh, mail on my documentation and Kai, 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 everywhere. <laughs> I was like, ooh. Uh, so that was nice. Uh, it was interesting with my birth certificate. I wish I didn't have to change that. And I know everybody has their feelings around that. I, for one, um, I think that is the past, you know, and I don't, I didn't like the idea of having to change that. Um, it's required for other documentation, so I did do it, but it just kind of, I was, I don't know, didn't sit right. Um, and so, that's that but I didn't um, I didn't like that aspect so I wish there was more flexibility around that um, but there you go um, also uh, it's interesting I was uh, I had an experience this week or I'm finding a shift in the way people uh, react and respond to me um, as would be expected uh, as I go along further into uh, being male uh, or fully uh, encompassing that and one of the more delightful feelings that I experienced this week um, is somebody who only knows me as I am today and um, was touch touching my chest the way you can touch male chest just, just like you know straight on right and at first I was, you know, a bit taken aback because normally my chest in its female form would be off limits in that way, right? That kind of direct touch, right? That would be considered bondling uh, for, for women. And so um, it was just a, a really, really uh, interesting and very unique experience for me, uh, having never had that kind of touch. Uh, or it being too far in the past, um, you know, before puberty for me to really remember what that felt like. Um, and it was just really subtle, you know, and very short-lived moment, but it was, it registered really strongly. I was like, oh shit, this is like really, really new landscape now. Um, so that was interesting experience and I, I really enjoyed that. Um, but I'm finding all kinds of new things with my chest. Um, after surgery uh, that, you know, I just I either didn't kind of think through all the way or just wasn't expecting and and they come and then I... Um, another thing is I am, I think I've told you um, before, but uh, I'm part of the Trans and Gender Variant Working Group um, here in Vancouver and we're going to have a community meeting coming up on how to um, make more trans-inclusive uh, recreational facilities and programming uh, here in Vancouver. And so it's going to be very interesting. It's going to be on coming this coming Monday. And so I'm, you know, kind of doing some last minute stuff to pull that together. And um, we'll be introducing the eight member uh, working group and um, kind of defining the scope of our mandate and um, and then uh, you know starting to collect some input from the community so it should be really really interesting um, kind of what happens and what comes up um, and for those of you who are interested in seeing what that is all about I uh, I'll put a link down below um, to the live streaming that w I was able to figure out how to set up because uh, I do recognize there are some people that uh, have social anxiety as as I used to have 
um, and who, you know, just really have a hard time getting out into, even in the most safe contexts, um, you know, trans-inclusive, trans-competent um, events, um, they, they still find it very difficult. And so, you know, we, we, we tried really hard to have a, a, a virtual attendance option. So uh, I encourage those of you who aren't in Vancouver, if you want some ideas for your own town or um, even want to contribute some of the things that are working in your cities that, you know, Vancouver could um, take on uh, or might benefit from, we would really welcome that. So, um, yeah, feel free to attend, um, you know, uh, from the comfort of your home, wherever you may be. Um, and then... <laughs> With all my freed up energy from, you know, less dysphoria, especially related to my chest, uh, I have diverted that energy into um, new things. Um, one of them is, uh, I may have spoken about this before, but uh, I have started to learn the trumpet. And it's a lot, a lot of fun. Um, it Basically, it's my way of expressing my joy uh, about all these things that I'm experiencing lately uh, and making noise. <laughs> Here goes a C major scale. Yes. However, uh, not everybody is as excited as I am, uh, especially my neighbors. And so I received um, a letter that I've posted up there. But I got the point, and um, so I am now playing trumpet uh, in a practice space somewhere at a music school. But I found that quite hilarious. Um, lastly, I've been thinking quite a bit. Um, I am a big nerd. This is my coming out moment. <laughs> And I listen to lectures uh, at Princeton University and other um, uh, places. Uh, and one of the ones that I really like, um, that I keep coming back to, is uh, uh, Dr. Brother West. Uh, he's um, a uh, professor of theology at Princeton University. And he has uh, some really powerful lectures um, and I'm going to provide the link below and uh, one of, I, I wouldn't say it's a recent one, I think it's back from 2007, but he spoke about the um, gifts of black people in the age of terrorism. Um, and he made some very strong points uh, that really, re well, I wouldn't say they resonated, but um, you know, they, they uh, kind of opened my eyes to a lot of things and, um, it, you know, uh, I, I just found a very interesting topic um, and themes that he teased out. Uh, and it got me thinking about what are the gifts of trans people. And I like that kind of uh, exploration mainly uh, because, you know, oftentimes there's a lot of uh, challenges to being trans. Uh, and those are all very legitimate and very real. Uh, However, I also like to consider, you know, some of the positive, positive aspects uh, of being trans. Um, and I do think we have, we are very profound beings um, in, in our, um, you know, being transgender. And as a result, uh, I think we have a lot to offer the world um, in whether it be in our unique perspective, having, um, you know, been both in the body of, um, you know, female and male, um, and um, provide. Oftentimes, that go that goes largely unquestioned, um, and I think we really bring that question to bear uh, in a much uh, you know deeper way. Uh, you know, I I you know when I began transition was like, what is a man? What is a woman? What does it mean to be male? What does it mean to be female? And um, does it matter? And, you know, I had a lot, a lot, a lot of questions. Um, and I was asking those people, kind of canvassing people around me too. And so they got to be part of that exploration um, and not taking things just at face value. Um, and I found a lot of it to, um, to a certain degree to be made up. 
uh, and you know part of a social norm and you know any good gender studies course would um, you know provide that layering as well however you know uh, a lot of people don't have that in their lives and sometimes transgender transgender people provide that um, that opportunity uh, to, to delve into that uh, I also think there's a bit of a bridging uh, at least me personally, I feel I, I am a bit of a bridge between the gender, even genders, um, even though I identify as male, having experienced the world, um, you know, for 33 years, uh, one, you know, if, in female form, uh, I, I do have an understanding of what it's like to have a, an estrogen-based system um, and the resulting uh, behaviors, uh, feelings, and, and such. And so I often, you know, tell, you know, men and women about the things that I am feeling so as a, a, a way for them to understand each other a little bit better. Um, you know, the fact that uh, it's, it's harder to cry on a testosterone-based system uh, I think is a very real thing. And uh, I didn't quite appreciate it as much as I do now um, back, you know, when I was in my female form and, and mostly estrogen flowing through my system. So... I I tell you know um, my my female or female friends and and to let them know and I also tell my male friends too so that you know they, they don't there's not this expectation that they be a particular way um, anyways like that kind of thing where like I help with that I feel in my own friendship circle um, and uh, there's a lot of things that I've personally experienced in my own body that I can kind of uh, bring to bear. Um, I also think there is something to be said about trans people having a huge source of inner strength um, and uh, the ability to be true to oneself in, at, at a cost sometimes. Um, and I think that, sh that should never be understated because that's so huge. Um, you know, it is getting easier and easier, which I, I, I'm glad for, that we can be true to ourselves with not as much of a cost as it used to be for for those who, who preceded us. Um, but that said, you know, there's a, there's a physical cost, right, in terms of um, there's pain if you go through surgery, uh, there's um, the hormone aspect, um, and then there's even that kind of transitory um, piece uh, as we go from one to another. Um, and, you know, it's very, very challenging. Uh, it's a lot of work to undertake to to largely fulfill what is inside. Um, uh, and then for me personally, it's just um, the gift I give is, is um, to other people is, is trusting myself. Um, and I, I practice that in, you know, my going through, deciding to go through transition, uh, that I know what is inside me and, um, you know, bringing that to bear. So those are just some of the, the initial things I thought about in terms of, I'm sure there's many, many, many more gifts uh, of, of trans folk, um, but that's just uh, something that I was pondering over this last week um, as a, um, you know, kind of uh, uh, something that uh, was inspired by the by Dr. West's um, lecture, uh, and I encourage you to, to listen to it all. It's really interesting um, and, and quite profound. So... Anyways, um, those are my musings and uh, experiences lately, and uh, yeah, I hope everybody's well, and I'll talk to you soon.